Hi everyone, so I realise that I've been away for quite a few months and haven't done any videos. That is because I've been working nearly every day and I just have not had time. Um, and I started university for my third year yesterday. Um, and this morning I had my dissertation talk, if anyone doesn't know what that is. It's basically just a really, really long essay that you have to do on, um, like, for my subject, obviously I'm doing like lens-based photo media, so something that links to that. Um, and I'm actually allowed to do it um, on makeup because um, that's something that I always use in my studio work, something that links to it. And from makeup, I can go into products like it's used in film and theatre and television, you know, fashion shoots, camouflage for pot wine stains, scars in the army, um, well, special effects for cuts and bleeding, everything like that. It's used in so many ways you just wouldn't think of. So, I want to interview um, certain makeup gurus, as we call them, on YouTube, um, who I love watching and who are actual makeup artists. And um, the best people that came to my mind were Pixu, which is Sam and Nicola Chapman. And I just love watching the videos, and I'm always waiting for the next video to be put on because I just can't wait to watch it. So, here are the questions, and if you could do me a video reply, I'll be so grateful, and I will be writing about you in my dissertation. Um, so, the first question is, why did you get into makeup artistry? And I know that your auntie does it, but personally, like, what interested you in it? Like, what was the first thing you saw that made you think, I want to be a makeup artist? Um, also, what do you think about the industry, the makeup artist industry? Like, um, like obviously, how expensive products can be, how cheap products can be, um, like the hard work that goes into it. And what do you think about it, your personal opinion? Another thing that um, I wanted to put with it was on animal testing. So, what is your opinion on animal testing? And there are so many products um, that I have looked into that I actually use that test on animals that I didn't know, like Colgate toothpaste, Clairol hair dye, um, Early, the moisturising uh, skincare, NARS, Max Factor. Um, and what do you think about it? Like, what's your opinion on it? Um, also, how important is packaging? Like, so for a product, how important is the packaging to sort of draw you into it and buy it? Um, what is your favourite era? So, makeup from maybe Egyptian times or the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, which we all know was a bit bright, um, or maybe the makeup that everyone's doing now because it is sort of drawing back to, um, just go back to the 50s sometimes with the red lips like plain eyes, pardon me. Um, and what does using makeup mean for you? So when you put it on yourself, how does it make you feel? And if you didn't have it on, would you feel different? So whereas if you had a full face of makeup on, and what do you, why do you think people wear makeup? Um, so yeah, that is all the questions I'm going to ask. Um, if anyone else is a makeup artist and wants to send me, um, do a video response to this video, um, that would be great, and I will pick a few and I'll let you know which ones that I'm going to be um, writing about in my dissertation, but um, Sam and Nick are the main ones that I wanted to talk to because they're amazing, I think. So, sorry about the state of my hair, I've had it in plaques and it's all a bit, mm, and it is like 10 past 8 at night and I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. So, if you could do me a video response over the next few days, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, and I'll be able to show it to the rest of my class as well, which would be great. Um, I am Pixie, not Pixie, but just Pixie. So, um, if you do me a video about that, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Bye.